Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Magic and Miracles, where you learn how to be the magician of your life. My name is Anna, and I'm your favorite, most favorite manifestation coach under the sun. Why, you may ask, because nobody spends as much time on their clients like I do, true story. We correspond two to three times per week. You are not going to find this anywhere, as well as nobody has the kind of coaching that I do, okay? I coach mainly in audio exchange as well as um, phone sessions. The most two popular packages, the links are directly below, as well as to my website, are the Audio Exchange Unlimited as well as Phone um, Session Unlimited Deluxe. The difference is simply if you'd like to correspond with me by audios or by phone sessions. The difference also is that you can send me an audio that is 20 minute max. I will analyze that audio and then reply with my own analysis of your audio. This process takes me a couple of hours sometimes. Um, because I want to listen to everything you have to say. Every word matters to me. Um, and I listen to your audio more than twice and then transcribe it um, with my own notations, what I have to say to you, etc., etc. In the um, case of the phone um, session uh, deluxe package, we spend two to three times per week on the phone. Um, the session lasts about an hour. I always go over. Um, I record that session with your permission and then go through that hour. Take my notes. Again, I am a true believer in notes. I have so many notes after each client, a truckload of them. Um, why? Because everything matters to me. I'm looking for patterns um, in your um, basically manifestations up until today. So I start with childhood, adolescence, college years, all the way up until today, um, everything matters to me, your parents, your siblings, um, your guardians, what have you. I really would like to understand how you grew up, um, the kind of um, patterns you have exhibited thus far, because a lot of these beliefs that you've picked up were since childhood, essentially. Everything that um, you tell me is confidential, you will need to um, sign the coaching agreement upon booking. Um, it simply states, I am not a psychologist, even though my methods are similar. Um, obviously, the difference between a coach and a psychologist is simple. I'm allowed to give you feedback and my opinion. Uh, whereas a psychologist or therapist is not. That is not their protocol. They simply listen uh, and give feedback and diagnose you. I'm here to bring up um, your self-esteem, to correct your beliefs, um, to have you lead a better life, to make you um, a better version of yourself. So two different objectives. I'm not here to diagnose anybody. If you have if you do have, if you know, you are aware that you have a serious issue that is only treatable in therapy, please go to therapy. Otherwise, coaching um, is way more effective than therapy in the sense that we get a lot more done where I can really explain to you how you can correct um, the manifestations that you're seeing. Okay, But again, if you have serious issues, then definitely go to therapy. When you're booking with me, I assume that you are familiar with my personality. I'm very direct. Um, I pride myself in it, and this works really well in coaching. I um, expect that you be respectful, of course, um, and you don't rebuttal my methods. This is mandatory. Otherwise, I cannot help you. I'm sorry. In coaching, I, I would hope that you know that the coach is on your side. Um, I'm not here to, you know, upset you or offend you in any way, but the truth is the truth. And the first thing that we do is examine everything that you've done thus far. And if my feedback um, is straightforward, you need to take that um, and really examine that this is probably what you needed to hear to break you out of your dysfunction. After we cover your um, history, we go into different exercises to release um, the beliefs that don't serve you, to process certain emotions that are associated with them, and chances are you've been kind of like suppressing that stuff for a long, long time. Instead of being a people pleaser, you are now becoming a person who's validating themselves, validating their experiences, 
Um, and again, you must have lived with this for, for a number of years, if not decades. And so this work is, while it's not always pleasant, is really exciting because, like I said, in a shorter uh, amount of time uh, than therapy, you can accomplish way more with me uh, than any therapist under the sun. True story. But I always recommend a two to three month minimum in coaching with me for me to be able to cover my um, program the, the way that I've developed it. It truly works. If you just take my guidance and, and like I said, don't rebuttal me, but just trust me that I know what I'm doing. I've done this for eight years. It works every time. The times that it hasn't worked has been very seldom. But it usually has to do with the person who doesn't really want to do the work. They want to continue elaborating on the problems. And I'm not, I'm, I'm, I will hear you out. I will listen to everything you have to say to me. But an, at that some point, we have to start the work, not just continue talking about it. Why I'm interested again in your history is because I really need to know what has happened thus far, the kind of blueprint you've got. Okay, so that's key. That's instrumental. Um, uh, to my work. After that, we start the work and we need to reprogram everything. Why this is important? Because you are the manifester, you're the creator of your reality. Nobody else is going to manifest shit for you. Okay, that's another parenthesis here. Another close in my coaching agreement is that I do curse for emphasis, not to offend anybody, but to really make my point. Okay, I'm a really passionate coach. I really care about my clients. I would never dream of offending them, but I, I am um, passionate about my work. And sometimes, for emphasis, I do curse. And if you've been on my channel, you probably know that about. Okay, also, parenthesis here, I do offer seminars for up to 10 people. It's on my website. We can discuss. Um, it's usually I go over the program that I offer in my coaching. But if it's something custom you'd like me to discuss, we can also um, entertain that. But you need to book me as soon as you can. And we can um, discuss the, uh, what you'd like me to, um, what kind of program you'd like me to create. Most people do it via Zoom. This has worked wonderfully because we can actually record the entire session rather than me, you know, flying out somewhere and you booking a hotel for me. Um, it, it, it has proven um, to work wonderfully. If you have any questions about anything I just said, just email me um, directly. The email is below. All right. All right. The subject of today is how to make your SP regret leaving you. Okay. Now, I know a lot of you come into my coaching because you're inspired by, and motivated by an SP leaving you behind for a third party, acting disrespectfully, um, really triggering you, hurting your feelings, um, having um, some kind of disagreement with them. Um, maybe it's even a divorce. Um, Maybe there is no contact for a long time. And honestly, parenthesis here, I really don't care how long it has been for because time truly doesn't matter. Because some people are, un I think, are, are under the impression that if it has been like over a certain period of time, it has become impossible. First of all, let's not get too esoteric, but like Einstein said, time really does not exist. And so what you perceive to be, let's just say, uh, 10 years it, it, it hasn't actually been 10 years. It's just a perception. And I know this is very esoteric, but it's just the truth. When it comes to affairs of the heart, there's no such thing as time. There's no such thing as distance. It, it could have been like 30 years ago. Okay. I'm just, I mean, being like super kind of like exaggerating these time frames here, but it could have been 30 years ago that you've met this person and you can still reconnect with them because a true connection is a true connection. You never forget that. You never, the feelings are still there. Okay. If you're still thinking about this person today, there's a reason why because they're still thinking about you, okay? Now, of course, the circumstances may be such that, you know, in the 3D, uh, there's no communication, they've long gone or married somebody else and this and that, but if you are still thinking about them, if you're still pondering on this idea of what, would it be, what it would be like to have a life with them, to have children with them, or whatever it is you want, a marriage with them, then this very... Uh, desire of yours exists because there is a parallel reality in which this already is. 
Otherwise, you wouldn't have this desire. It's just the truth. This is quantum physics. I'm not like trying to, you know, give you false hope or anything like that. And in that parallel reality, this person, this version of this person wants the same things as you do. Now, the fact that you've created and manifested this person leaving you or disrespecting you, choosing another person uh, instead of you, that just speaks to the beliefs that with which you created this re this version, this parallel reality, okay? You've done nothing wrong. It's just an experience, okay? Don't beat yourself up. Don't cry in bed and this and that. This is just an experience, all right? It does, you know, it is really instrumental to cover why this happened though. Why is that? Because it's important to not repeat it. Okay, so when we examine your background, your belief system and, and the past and the childhood and this and that, it's simply to cover the ground from which you started out manifesting these shitty things. And usually it's not just one relationship that happened this way. It's a, a, a series of, of relationships, one after the other, more or less the same problem. So you're kind of like creating on a loop, one SP leaves or one SP betrays you, the next one did more or less the same thing, and the next one and the next one. So the common denominator is you, obviously. This is not to blame anybody or make anybody feel bad, but the truth is, is you're the one manifesting these things, and it's of paramount importance for you to find out why, okay? This is where coaching is so instrumental because you get to figure out once and for all what is my, like, what is my kind of like block here? What am I doing that I'm creating here? What is my structure inside my mind that keeps repeating on a loop the same story over and over and over again? And may I tell you something, my darling yous, it isn't until you really correct that and you really come to realize, which is why I'm brutally honest in my coaching. I'm not going to sugarcoat shit for you, okay? Don't dream of it. This is not my job. This is not what you want me to do. You want me to tell you the truth, okay, so that you can go on to your merry life in, into the sunset with your SP, okay, after my coaching and after having done the work, which is why paying attention to what I say in coaching is truly really important, okay, if, if you're going to start getting offended, okay, well, get offended, I don't know what to do with you then, okay, so it's truly important to understand what it is inside of you that creates it, what it is that you keep um, telling yourself, telling the universe, i.e. you, by the way, your higher self, whatever you want to call it, that this keeps going on a loop. What do you believe about yourself? What do you believe about men or women? What do you believe about marriage? What do you believe about relationships? Okay, what kind of drama panoramas have you lived through? Have you seen your parents divorce and that affected you? Have you um, encountered betrayal? Trail in other relationships as well. And now you've come to really just expect it. And all of this is individual. So I can talk till the end of time on my channel about these things. But ultimately, everybody's individual, which is why, you know, I offer co coaching. And some people don't like when I promote it. But the essence of the reason I do it is not, well, of course, to promote my services and make people aware that I do it. But also, to really um, advise people that, you know, watching videos till the end of time on YouTube doesn't solve shit. You're, why? Because number one, it isn't personable, okay? It's just an abstract idea and you on your own are not going to do it just watching videos. Somebody needs to talk to you and figure out your specific problem. Okay, this is why so many people are frustrated. This is why a lot of people come into my coaching and say, you know, Anna, I thought I could figure it out on my own. I was watching videos. I was doing affirmations. I was doing this, that, and the other. None of it worked. Why or oh, why? I'm telling you why right now, because it just doesn't work to watch all these videos till the end of time. You really need to work with somebody one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, this is, if you want results, and if you want results in a rather short period of time, okay, instead of spending years on the shit. And so in coaching and in, in this work, the work is you, like I said, you're the creator. 
You're reconfiguring your own blueprint by working on what, what has already happened, what have you already done, and creating a new version of yourself. This is no easy task, by the way. It does require, as I say, you know, metaphorically, push-ups. It does, but you have to do those push-ups. You have to commit to working on yourself in order for this situation not to be reproduced ever again. Ideally, that's what we're you know, going for here. And so if you want to start making your SP regret leaving you, you need to become a different person altogether, not one that's like crying in bed and blaming themselves and, you know, expecting more betrayal, expecting them to um, continue being away from you or not contacting you hopelessness, desperation, all these things. This is not, you're not going to manifest anything like this. It's just not going to happen. So as quickly as you can, get your shit together and start like working on yourself, you know, and, and be on purpose about it. I'm going to invest in myself, whether that's coaching or however, you know, whoever resonates with you, whatever coach, whatever program and this and that. And start really working on what happened. How did I create that? How did I create that? And what am I going to do differently now that this person is going to get this thing in, in his head and say, holy shit, bananas. I have made the biggest fucking mistake in my life. What the fuck was I thinking? This thought transmission is going to appear in his or her mind because you've changed, you're sending out different thoughts, you're not blaming yourself, they're not blaming you, you're not feeling miserable, uh, you're not thinking less of yourself, and neither do they. They think of you exactly what you think of you. And the way you think about them, they think about you too. So it's twofold, right? So you, if you're thinking right now, what an asshole, he went with somebody else, I'm so, you know, miserable over here, I'm this little person who's been left behind, and la 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 la, they think exactly this way about you. They think, oh yeah, this miserable little person, who cares about her or him, you know, they don't think so highly of them, why should I? I mean, this is on a very kind of like quantum subconscious level, but it translates in actual thoughts, in actual impressions in their mind. Now, if all of a sudden, like today, right now, you started thinking of yourself, I'm the best thing that have ever happened to them. I'm the best person for them to be in a relationship with. I am the only one for them. They love me. They realize they love me so much. Like overnight, don't know what happened to them. You know, lightning strike them in the head or whatever. Parenthesis here, your thoughts strike, strike them in the head. And they start thinking differently. They're like, oh my God, I lost the love of my life. What the fuck did I do with my life? How, how is it possible to be so stupid? <laughs> I, I cannot believe I did this. It's, it's going to completely reconfigure their thoughts because you changed and your thoughts changed about you and the whole situation. No matter how dire the situation is, no matter how, how much drama panorama went down, parenthesis here, unless they were really abusive. Okay, that's where I draw the line. Physically, emotionally, and, and, and mentally abusive. I mean, even that, somebody can show up and apologize. Um, but the thing is, I don't know. It... <laughs> You know, it's it's a it's a very delicate subject. So I will say, if somebody will uh, was abusive to you, I would recommend you just heal from that relationship. You you will get an apology. There is that through forgiveness and this and that. But that's a whole other territory because this person. Am I saying it's impossible to change even an abusive person? No. But to me, once you have been abused by somebody, it's a little, I don't know that it's even worth manifesting somebody like this. That's just my opinion. You know, nothing is impossible. There is that. But I just look, look after, look, look out for um, 
my clients, and I don't know that that's the healthiest choice. Um, yes, you can get an apology. Yes, you can change them. Again, the lightning can strike them in the head, and they can change their ways. And it, not that it doesn't happen; it does happen. You know, narcissists change, and this and that. It just depends on the the reason is, this is delicate. It depends on the personal situation of yours, where um, how much damage has been done. Okay, um, of course, everything can be forgiven. I mean, people forgive different things and this and that. But I'm just saying it just depends on, you know, uh, the situation that you were in. But essentially, if no such thing happened and you're just, you know, somebody left you, somebody chose somebody else, they were a jerk to you, but not really abusive. And it, you just went your separate ways. But it was you've, you've been left with this feeling like... <laughs> This was not what you preferred. You would have preferred to stay with them, to marry them, and this was your guy or your girl. You can start changing their mind in, in this minute right now, provided you've done the work on yourself. And parenthesis here, no amount of tears, <clears throat> no amount of chasing, no amount of pleading, no amount of none of that fucking bullshit that you may be doing right now will ever bring him or her back. What will bring him or her back effortlessly so, is you changing you, you taking care of you, you getting up in the morning, starting your own business, getting a new job that you love, creating fabulous shit in your world, um, forgiving them, doing the work um, in, in coaching with me or somebody else or however you do it, um, building up your self-confidence, building up yourself and becoming a new person. And when you become a new person, then yes, of course, you can attract an apology. You can attract absolutely anything at all. But here's the deal. For a lot of people, it's very difficult to do these things. And it takes time. Of course, it takes time. You cannot expect of yourself. Like if, if right now you're sitting and listening to me and something recently happened or not recently, whatever, and you've been trying to do this or you've been kind of like not doing anything about it and you've just been kind of like wallowing in, in, in depression or sorrow or sadness, these things take time. You cannot expect yourself to hoopla, start manifesting like overnight. There's a process with these things, especially when, when something hurtful happened like this. You have to really let up on yourself and be really, really gentle with yourself. You need to become your own best friend to have these emotions processed, to have the, the forgiveness taken place and all these things, even though you may not be corresponding with this person, they're not coming and, and talking to you, they're not apologizing, none of this shit is happening, it still doesn't matter. You can achieve all the work that you can achieve on your own and then the 3D will reflect it back to you. This is the formula, this is how it works. And of course, you can start, you know, corresponding to them mentally, anything you want them to do. Just like I mentioned, if you want to, for them to start all of a sudden regretting all their choices, regretting treating you this way, this is the download that you will send them with thought transmission and say, oh my God, I can feel you from over here, how regretful you are that you've left me behind. You fucked yourself up, <laughs> in fact. Ha ha. <laughs> what was I so sorry about? You're the one who's losing out on me. Quite frankly, look at me. I'm fabulous. But for that to happen, you, you need to spend time on yourself, building yourself up. And that's what I do in my coaching. You need to start thinking like, oh my God, they're so regretful that they missed out on me. Not in a narcissistic way, but in a very wholesome, self-loving way. Like, wow, I can't believe that I thought that, you know, whatever, I was nothing and nobody, but actually I am everybody and everything in my 3D reality, okay? And it was up to me for them to start thinking this way because when I think of myself this way, everybody does. Everybody who matters to me anyway. I mean, I don't care about like the whole world, but everybody who comes in contact with me will think of me this way. If I will all of a sudden start thinking, oh, poor me, poor me, and this and that, not to make fun of anybody, but, you know, let's just, you know, say things like they are. If you're sitting there in self-pity, people don't don't want to react to you in in like a loving way because you're you are not responding to yourself in a loving way you're downgrading 
the creator of your reality. You're the god of your reality, and your reaction to yourself is poor me, poor me. How much fucking sense does that make? May I say, or may I ask? Zero would be the number. <laughs> I'm so serious. But if all of a sudden you got it in your head, like, you know what? Today is the day. I'm turning this shit around. I'm, I'm, I'm going to completely revolutionize my life. I'm going to build myself up. My confidence will go through the roof. I don't really care to have a grudge against this person. I will forgive them their transgressions and this and that, the way they hurt me and betrayed me and this and that. Um, not because it doesn't matter that they did it. Not because I'm validating it, but because I want to let go of that garbage. Because I want to be free of that. It's not my problem that they acted this way. It's theirs. Therefore, it makes no like sense for me to carry this um, over into my new reality. And so I'm giving them back their bullshit. Go watch my video. The link is below. One of my favorites and everybody just about who's in my coaching and on my channel. And I'm going to start anew. And when I become the new person, this version, this new version that I'm going to manifest, this new version of SP who um, supposedly left you in the other um, parallel reality will show up and start begging you, begging you for an apology. Because now you completely shifted things around. You no longer feel sorry for yourself. You're no longer blaming yourself. You're a completely different person. And that energy that you held on was like, kind of like for dear life, is given them. They need to deal with their bullshit, not you. And what happens is, quite frankly, miraculous. The person shows up and says, I'm really sorry. You were right. This was absolutely unkind. I don't know what got into my head. I was a fool, and I beg you to, to give me a second chance. Please, 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 please. Crawling on the knees, licking jam of your toes, completely just head over heels in love with you and just it, totally not understanding what happened. But what happened is that you changed. That's what happened. In this parallel reality that you will create through becoming a new person, completely different story, completely different story. But the advantage, in my opinion, quite frankly, is that they fucked up so bad. Now you get to reign like a queen or the king and be like, yeah, yeah, you're going to make it up to me till the, for the rest of your life, forever. You know, whether I take you back or not, you will be like hanging on my every word. You will be like trying to figure out ways to please me. And for me, honestly, that's, that's an advantage. So you can shift this around completely. And if you want to see a change, you need to change yourself. Okay. It needs to be that you change perspective and give yourself the opportunity to spend some time on changing yourself. For all I know, every single client that comes into my coaching tells me, Anna, this is so great because you know what? This gave me the opportunity to um, spend some time alone and change myself. And before I was convinced that this was the most horrible thing that happened to me. But everything serves you and this too shall serve you. And so this is in fact a golden opportunity for you to not only bring back your SP, but in fact change yourself. This is a complete blessing in disguise. And so if you want to know what anyone is thinking, just look inside your mind. If you want to understand um, what kind of blueprint you have, just look inside your beliefs. But the thing is, people usually, it's very hard to do it on your own because it's so kind of like subdued inside your con con subconscious mind that sometimes it does take a professional to fish it out of you. It just does, Okay. Because chances are you've been living with this dysfunction, like I said, for so long that it's just normal to you. You don't even notice it anymore. Where if, if it suddenly becomes, if the monster suddenly comes into the light, so to speak, the, the beliefs that don't serve you come into the light, now you have something to work with. Now you can truly, truly transform your life in, in, the, in such a way that, quite frankly, honestly, it will blow your mind, whether that's SP or anything at all. Thank you very much for listening. All the information from me is below. Until next time. Ciao, ciao.